Michael Blackson is angry right now and specifically he's angry at the finance minister of Ghana because the things that are happening in Ghana that people have been complaining about you know, is now that it has touched him. The whole haircut and then, 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 then that people were tr talking about is now that the thing has touched him. Somewhere last year, Michael Blackson opened a school in Ghana and apparently he has gone to buy some euro bonds. And he was thinking maybe the dividends that will come on it to say then, then the interest or whatever. No? He will be using it to run the school. But the way the financial system is set up in the country, he is going through it. And he has come on Twitter to come and rant and he has said a lot of things, including going to sue the, the sue Ghana or say that, oh, get there. I have the food just for you. I'm the headless YouTuber, there's headless reactions. I like to say, Yonko! So this very successful comedian actor in America who has his roots in Ghana came to Ghana to come and open a school. This is a very nice way to give back to, you know, your home country, your motherland. And we are encouraging all the people in the diaspora to do this, to come and invest in the country, to come and do something to help the motherland. And people have been coming to do it year of return. Ne, 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 ne. Always people have been coming, they've been encouraging people to come. Now, one person has come to open a school at Aguna Saba, which is Michael Blackson. He has opened a Michael Blackson Academy, a big school that is taking some pressure off the government. But then, some place that he went to put his money, the thing has locked, and he has come to tweet and tweet. And one funny thing is all the tweeting he's tweeting, and some people are saying that, He's NBC boy, that's why he's tweeting. <laughs> <laughs> some people are saying that he's NBC. That's why he's tweeting like this, but your chain will get there. So Michael Blackson, he tweeted, a, um, the first tweet, he said, who is the finance minister in Ghana? Please, um, right now the finance minister is Mohamed Amin Adam. He was replaced, just a, um, Ken Foriata was the one in who was holding that office until I think February this year that he was replaced. So the current finance minister there, please don't come and attack him. It's Ken Ophoyata that you should attack, but the uncle. Also, who is the minister of finance in Ghana? I have beef with this guy. People in the diaspora decided to invest in our continent and they used our money to pay their debt and gave us two options. And these are the two options. Either you take a 37% cut and receive 5% interest with 11 years maturity date, or you take no cut, but you take 1% a 1.9% interest with 15 years maturity date. I'm very disappointed in my people for this. Nature said the money that is, your money that is with them, no. This is what they are telling you. Two options. If your hundred thousand dollars is with them. Either you take a 37% cut. <laughs> and you say you'll be holding 60, then 63,000 instead of your 100,000. And you receive 5% interest with 11 years maturity date. Or you there, you hold your whole 100,000 to be with them. But you receive 1.9% interest with 15 years. They'll hold your money for 15 years. By that time, your money has lost value. Hmm. Anyway, Ian Faso, Michael Blackson came again and said that I did the Euro bond because I figured that will help pay for the lifespan of the free school I built. Ghana. Hey, Ghana decided to use our money to pay their debt to China or whoever and leave us hanging. Somebody has built a school for you free and this is how you decide to pay the person. Or say, I'm taking Ghana to the World Court. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Yo. I say, I'm taking Ghana to the World Court. They won't get away with this. Bonds only goes bad if there's um some some time of civil war. You don't take your customers' money and pay your debts with it. <laughs> I say, when I was right, when I was wiring the money from the states, my financial advisor advised me not to. But I had confidence in my motherland and they proved me wrong. 
You that's your enemy, Manone. You want to wire money. Your financial advisor, I don't know whether he's in Ghana or where, but your financial advisor told you, don't send the money. And he said, oh no, me, I believe in Ghana, I believe in Ghana. And no one there. And no one there. Now, this is sad. This is not me laughing at somebody's pain. This is sad, Bobby and Tuasso. Osignana is a great, peaceful, fun place to visit. Just be careful when it comes to any business move. This is what somebody is saying about your country. That Ghana is a very beautiful place, a fun place to hang out. But when it comes to business, be careful. And this is just one person, Michael Blackson, that is talking. Do you know the number of businesses that had to close down? Multinational businesses. People who invested in this economy that they had to withdraw their, their business just because of the economic and financial setup of the country. <laughs> he came again, he said, if it wasn't for the love and passion I have for the un uh, underprivileged youth of Ghana, I would just hand my school to the people and walk away, but I can't. I have to work a little longer than I expected to help those kids out. Because somebody loves Ghana and wants to help the children of Ghana, look at the hole that you've, you've dug for him to go and enter. Look at the hole. Now, he, if, he, if, he, if he wants, he can just give the school and say, many, many, many. I'm not spending on the school anymore. Then we know how the school will be run. Because if he doesn't invest in the school, if he doesn't take you know, the steps, we know how the school will become in the next two years. If it's left into somebody's hands, we know we are here. Or say, I had no plans on opening up a non-profit because I hate asking for um, anything, but Ghana took the $1 million I invested to use it to pay, a, to pay for the life of the school. Hey, chain, chain, chain. Initially, um, Michael Blackson said he had already spent like $500,000 on the school. It's just right now, no, see, Ghana took the one million I invested to use to pay for the life of the school. One million dollars now, or no, I invested in it. They've taken it. And now they are giving him two options. Either 37% cut with 3% interest for 10 years to the day, or you no cut by 1.9% interest for 15 years. <laughs> also, when I bought the euro bonds, it was paying 10% interest, which will pay for the school. And then Ghana kidnapped the money and used it to pay their debts. Almost three years later, they tell me, oh, we are sorry, but you can we can only pay you 1.95%, and we will hold your money for 15 years. We will hold your money. For 15 years. <laughs> it's like you don't know how long 15 years is. One year, one year, back up to 15. They just say if you, if the, like the way they are holding his money today, if you give that today, your child will complete JHS before he will get his money. That's a very long time. <laughs> hey, hey, I get why he's angry. I get why he's angry. And he came again and said, who is the current minister of finance in Ghana? Because they fired the old one. Um, and, and Dominic, what, 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 what? Because they, fired, because they fired the old one, don't make things okay. We need answers. Yes, now you're asking the right question. But it's the old one who fucked the system up. And he cried the firing, they fired him. Kind of me personally, I don't see it as a firing. Because they can still pull their strings at the back end. They can still do their things at the back end. Yanko, <laughs> Osegana, if we want to be respected like other great countries of the world, we have to do better. Somebody was the finance minister. The person was running the country some way. People complain and complain and complain. The last year to the end of the, the eight year tenure in, in office. That they sack the person. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, Oko Kanye, Yanko. I say enough of my anger towards Ghana. Didi got arrested yesterday. When the feds come to your house, it's just a matter of time before you your arrest. 
they don't come unless they have a case. It's like you're not angry enough because they the case in there. You can bear them with her. But anyway, uncle, I even hit up the big boys that make decisions in Ghana and they told me they are sorry. LOL. Sorry for taking hard working people's money and paying your debts to China. Your money is locked in the country. You call big dogs, people that you think can help you, and all they can tell you is we are sorry. The country is messed up. Osegana has, a, a, has set me back financially, and I will never forget them for this. I will never forgive them for this. Ghana has set him back financially because his $1 million leader, he used to buy some euro bonds, thinking he will get some interest from it. Now, they are telling him that no, Sikana she will hold your money. And your interest that you get, they can mega, mega sum of money while we are holding your money. Hmm. Or Sikana robbed me and a lot of other people that trusted them enough to invest in the country. And then he came again and said, Ghana stole the money I invested to keep my free school going. So now, I might have to do a GoFundMe, SMH. Somebody has built a school. The person has brought in students, taking care of them for free, thinking they've invested some money be in some bonds so that they can get some money to run the school. But right now, yawa. So either they charge the students or they go and do go fund me. <laughs> also now I understand why Trump called some of these third world countries a shithole country. Taking advantage of your people is a shithole move. Now that Ghana has taken the money I invested in my school, I have to feed the kids Niger Jollof. Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 oh, my God, Larson. Also, now that at first he was giving the students Ghana Jollof, rich Jollof, they go to school, they learn the books, everything free. He's using his own money to pay the teachers. But because the money has been, you know, sat on by the government, Right now, he has to feed the children low quality. Niger Jollof. Diarrhea Jollof. If you're Nigerian and you're watching this, sorry, but you know that Nigeria Jollof is inferior compared to Ghana Jollof. Yeah, uncle. Also, the world can't allow these people to do this and get away with it. These, um, there's got to be some kind of consequences. And then he came back with the last one. He said, when it comes to Didi, I just feel bad for the kids. Now, <laughs> So this is what Michael Black Blackson is doing ranting because things are going bad. His money that he has invested in Ghana. Right now they're the money in the Sikana ship. Somebody has built a very nice school, very, very beautiful school in Agunan Saba. But right now Sikana ship, Sikana ship, the money he put down so that they will be getting some interest to be doing running the school. They said they will hold on to the money for 15 years. He will not see his money. So this is why Michael Blackson is trending and this is quite sad. But this is the state of the country. The poor people, the, the people down there, you know, they are facing it. The people up there are also facing it. Everybody is suffering. But if you complain, they will say that you are against the government, you are probably opposition, you are NPPA, NDC, and then, and then. And people are saying he's NDC because he's complaining about his own money. You, you don't have one million dollars. If you have even invested thousand cities somewhere and they tell you will hold on to your thousand cities for 15 years, imagine how you feel. Now look at him that he has one million dollars. And if he talk, you <laughs> share your views in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this. This is sad. Unfortunate. But how for do? Anyway, I don't know. Yeah, then. Yeah,